And in fact, this is one of the ways that we actually test operating systems. So the Linux kernel developers, or actually this, is, this tool works for multiple versions of Unix, have a tool called CrashMe. So here we have the OS kernel, and here we have this program called CrashMe. What it does is it allocates a block of memory, writes totally random garbage into it. Then it masks off all signal handlers, that is to say system level exception handlers, and it just jumps into the block of garbage. That is to say it starts executing completely garbage bytes. And what happens when you start executing garbage bytes is often the instructions are illegal and the operating system kernel has to handle this. So over time, what we end up doing is exploring, that is to say testing, a lot of operating system system calls, a lot of calls into the operating system that contain really weird and unexpected values. And if the kernel goes ahead and keeps running properly and keeps trying to kill the crash me process, then the operating system kernel is succeeding. If the kernel ever falls over, if it crashes, then we've discovered a bug. We have to go ahead and fix the operating system. And the experience is, is that if you take a real operating system and you test it with a system like, uh, with a tool like CrashMe, you'll end up crashing the kernel unless the operating system has already been hardened with a tool like this. And so what we're getting at here is something very fundamental about testing. And we're working towards another testing principle. And the principle is, is that if you have an interface or an API that represents a trust boundary, that is a boundary between user between part of the system that we trust and users on the other side who we can't trust to stay in, within the domain of the API that we're implementing, then we have to test that API with all possible representative values, not just ones that the developers happen to think are in the domain. So there's our principle. And it turns out that in practice, people are pretty bad at this. That is to say, people aren't empirically very good at testing these interfaces with a full range of values. And this is sort of, this, 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 this lies at the core of a lot of the security vulnerables that we see in real software today.